Hello, welcome to another game development tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing Godot. Uh, I'm going to pronounce it Godot, not Godot, not anything like that. Deal with it. I have three folders. Scenes, sprites, and tile sets. And in sprites, I have static and these three sprites. Four sprites. So, I'm going to double click on this. And as you can see, the sprite is blurry. I'm going to turn off the filter on each one of these sprites. Alright, so now our sprites are all smooth. Now I'm going to go into the 2D viewport and I'm going to create a new node. This tutorial is going to be on how to make a tile set in the Godot engine. Now the tile sets are used to create levels and uh, just your entire worlds basically. Uh, there are different types of tile sets. There are three actually. Custom, Isometric, and Square. We're going to be doing a square tile set for today. I will probably give a isometric tile set tutorial later in a different video. So to start off our base node, node 2D, we're going to add a sprite to it. Now this sprite is going to be our grass block. So there's there's our grass block. Also let's turn on snap. Let's set snap to 16 pixels by 16 pixels and let's move it down alright so let's name this to grass it's also very important that you make each one of these sprite names unique they cannot be the same thing that's very important now under this grass block so we have our sprite this is going to be one of our tile sets we need to attach more nodes to it to make it a collision so that our player or our character will collide against it. So we're going to select this add a static body 2D. So now we have a static body 2D which is just basically a uh, physics physics body type and we're going to add a collision shape underneath the static body 2D. This collision shape is going to be a rectangle and since we have snap on we can just snap the knobs onto there. Make sure you're selecting the inner knobs, not the outer knobs, or else you're going to have a skewed collision shape. Alright, so that's that's the grass block. Now we're going to make our stone block. Stone. And let's add a static body 2D. And under the static body 2, 2D, another collision. And let's just copy the collision from before. So we're going to duplicate that. And we're going to reparent it to our stone static body 2D. Now our stone is almost complete. I'm just going to lock the grass block so I can select the stone. And I'm also going to lock the static body 2D and collision shape 2D. Also, I have to set the sprite. So this is our stone block. I'm going to move it 16 pixels to the right from the grass block. Now, let's move the collision shape. Great, these are all the tiles I'm going to do. You can add as many tiles as you want, and they don't even have to be restricted by the size. You can make, for instance, a tree uh, 96 by 96 pixels, as long as you have the collision right, and it's spaced away from every... Uh, spray then it should be good and that'll work so now we're going to go into scene convert to tile set uh, we're just gonna keep merge with existing on and let's go into tile sets and we're going to name this default oh let's name it XML because text space is always better and let's save our scene in the scenes folder. Let's just call this tile set or default tile set dot XML. And now let's create a new scene. Alright, in this scene I'm just gonna create a node. I'm gonna name this world. zoom out here and under the world I'm going to create a tile map 
node. And in this tile map node, as you can see, we're going to select a tile set from a folder. Alright, now we have our tile set loaded in. We're going to set the size to 32 pixels by 32 pixels. And now we can place whatever we want. Tile maps and tile sets are extraordinarily great for game development, and I hope you use them. Thanks for watching. Bye.